how is this staff's <laughs> emphasis on the run game adjusted, kind of what you, your guys' role is, and then how excited are you about what's coming up for you guys? Um, it's a big emphasis, uh, running the ball, because you have to run the ball in order to pass the ball. Um, so they're really big on it, and they're pushing us every day. So, and then, you know, it's, it's exciting. You decided. You probably hoped last year was the exception of the rule, but with all the injuries you guys had in the running back room last year, how valuable do you see it now knowing you need to have as many guys that are ready to go as possible moving uh, forward for the season? Oh, it's really important um, to have that many guys in the room because it's going to help longer down the road because, you know, as a running back, you know, you don't have that longevity because like, you get hit every, almost every play. So um, it's very important. It's vital. So I really appreciate that we got that many guys in our room. You think it also increases in terms of uh, competition with you guys and pushing each other to improve? Oh, most definitely. We push each other every day, and we're always competing. You know, just like the little things, like who has the fastest uh, catapult speed, stuff like that. So we always compete with each other. Who does have the fastest catapult speed? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really looked at the uh, numbers yet. So uh, but we all compete with each other every day. Seen the coach was joking that even though he does like the air raid, he likes to still run the ball. I think it's like 60% of the time. Have you seen how much of that is him, how much he likes to run the ball uh, versus, you know, just being a, a purely passing? Yes. Tempo? Yes, we see that a lot every day as um, far as when we're going team and routes on air, just a whole bunch of um, team gatherings. We're just always running the ball and always pushing us to, to keep going. To piggyback on Rob's question a little bit, but talking about, you know, Three guys in the backfield running, you guys will be so much more productive since you'll, you won't be so tired and you guys can share the carries. Yes, it helps a lot, especially bringing in uh, Kyle Porter and Chandler Smith. It's going to help a lot and um, just keeping us fresh and it's going to just keep us playing out at our all time, like ultimate prime. How's the adjustment been to the speed? Obviously, you guys probably won't be as fast as you were last year. But still, uh, uh, at times you guys will use tempo. What has that been like getting adjusted to that? Oh, it's still, it's still fast. It's still fast. Um, it's, it's a different kind of tempo, but it's still fast and it's still is. Maybe more picture real. spots for it. When to be fast and when not? Yes, yes, a lot, a lot. I know it's still early on in camp, but what have it been your, what you've seen from the defense and kind of the depth they have there with going up against them? Oh, going up against defense is competition every day. Uh, the defense is like, from last year to now, is it's a big difference because they're all playing with each other, and um, they bring it every day, and I like it, and I like the competition that they bring. Any noticeable difference scheme-wise on the other yes, side of the ball? Yes, a lot, a lot of different scheme from, from scheme-wise and from the player-wise. They just all play with each other, and um, they get after each other. Last year, the offense was productive. What's going to be the biggest difference this year and last year's offense? We just have to stay consistent. Consistency is the key to everything, so we just have to stay consistent and then play together, have fun. Justin Johnson's a guy that played here before. I guess what's it been like to play for him at that position so far? It's good. Uh, he's a laid back coach. Uh, he's always on us, but at the same time, he always has fun with us. And he pushes us every day, you know, always reminding us to do the little things because the little things make a, plays a big part in the game. How have you seen Derek evolve even just from last season to this season? He's looking, he's looking really well, you know, he's, He's doing what Derek does, you know. Uh, so he's he's always leveling up every day. So has it impressed you how quickly he was able to just get back to 100 percent and like that injury never even happened? Yeah, most definitely. That goes back to our training staff. They're very they're very like good at what they do. So you know, and then you know some people are different, you know, and that that shows right there. He's a different kind of person. It's a team sport, but individually, what would you like to accomplish this year? Sky's the limit. I mean, I mean, we all have we all have goals and everything we want to get. At, but I'm taking one day at a time and then just make the best of the opportunity I have. How's the slightly revamped line looked in front of you? Obviously, a couple new guards in there competing, and you got your tackles and Braylon, of course, back in the middle. Uh, what's that look like in front of you? Obviously, that's something that impacts you directly. What's the competition look like? Competition is competition. It's looking good. Um, they're fighting every day. Uh, it just we're playing together and it's looking. It's looking really good out there. The addition of uh, your strength coaches this year, how much has that made an impact on you guys this offseason? It has made a great impact on us. Um, we're learning a lot of new things as far as our body, how you're supposed to work, how you're supposed to take care of your body. So it's teaching us a lot, and it's helping us way, way, like, to the max where we can perform at the max. You feel a lot better right now than you did, say, at this point last season from a 
about just from a body standpoint? I mean, I feel the same, but at the same time, I'm learning new things about my body. So, mm -hmm. yeah, of course, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel a lot better. As far as when you as you get older, you understand like, oh, this works for my body. Oh, this doesn't work for my body. Is that truly half the battle at this level when you're starting to try to prove yourself? Is really trying to understand how the nutrition and the workout program, your football is football, but the other stuff, coming to an understanding of how that's going to impact your body, is that one of the biggest obstacles for improvement? Definitely, because you have to, Is this is a job, you know, so when you're out there and then when you're off the field, you have to learn how to, this is your career, so you have to find out what works and what doesn't work and treat it like it is. Dr. Wolfman, what is De'Eric so, you know, so De'Eric, so, so explosive, so, you know, that leader type? Uh, it's De'Eric. He's hungry. He's a great quarterback. You know, uh, De'Eric is not a selfless person. You know, he's, he's all about a team. He's a team player. So he always motivates everybody. You know, he's always competing with people. So, you know, you know he likes to trash talk sometimes with the defense. But, I mean, it's all competition at the end of the day. And De'Eric is just that's who he is. He's a competitor. He's a team player. One more for Pat. You mentioned Kyle Porter. I guess what, what have you seen from him since he's been here? I seen him. I seen him. He's looking really good. He's looking very explosive. Um, he's looking good. Uh, you know, Chandler Smith is looking good as well. So uh, we have we have depth this year. I just we just keep competing every day, and we're gonna look good. Thanks, Pat. Thank you.